Hi guys, it's Rob Curtis once again from Simat. Um, more tales from the trenches, so to speak. Uh, a lot of people talk about ceramic bearings and how great ceramic bearings are for things. And one thing I've always tried to explain to customers that doesn't seem to come across all the time is the construction of a ceramic bearing or what we typically use as ceramic bearings. So here is a ceramic bottom bracket uh, that needs to be replaced. And the reason why it needs to be replaced is because of all this rusting all along the outside and oxidation, as well as gunk and everything else. Um, if you see the inner race is completely rusted as well too. Uh, but wait a minute, it's ceramic. Ceramic doesn't rust, right? No, it's not ceramic. It is a ceramic hybrid bearing. Um, this one is from ceramic speed. Uh, but if you look, the rolling elements themselves, the ball elements that are in there are, are what are actually ceramic. The races, the inner and outer races are still steel. Um, that's what they are. If you actually get one made of um, ceramic on the outside, they're prohibitively expensive. Uh, not only that, they tend to be very brittle as well too. So um, what's interesting to note on, on something like this is, yes, the balls for the ceramic uh, part of the bearing itself are hard enough that they can actually crunch up the rust that's on the race. And you can take one that's running rough and you can typically open it up, clean it out, you can run it a bit, and it will actually crunch up anything in its way and return to a smooth bearing. The problem, though, is the interference in play between this outer race and the materials it's coming into contact with, as well as the inner race and the materials it's coming into contact with. That's where you typically get your play and your noise when these get walled out and opened up, just like any other traditional steel bearing. So, um, Get a high quality ceramic if you're going to go that route. Realize that they're not maintenance free, that you do actually have to look at them or take care of the bike itself. Um, and or if you're not going to do that, just save the money and go with a steel bearing and be done with it. And replace it when you need it. Once a year, maybe twice a year, depending on how you ride. Thanks.